Cycling is one way in which to reduce carbon emissions which scientists believe contribute to global warming. Not only does cycling help keep one fit, but it also reduces pollutants in the air which are a threat to health. Environmental organisations such as Friends of the Earth work closely with various groups to promote cycling and provide an alternative to using cars for short distances. There are cycling organisations such as uh, Push Bikes, um, who um, we've always had close links with. They um, have office space in our building, they uh, uh, share a lot of members with us. So people who are interested in cycling are very often interested in the environment as well. So. The two organisations can work together very well on that. Birmingham Friends of the Earth are currently running a 20 mile per hour campaign to try and get the City Council to adopt 20 mile per hour speed limits on most roads. For all of the residential roads where people live, we would be saying that we want to see 20 mile an hour as the maximum speed limit across the city. Um, where this has been adopted in other parts of the country, we have seen um, a reduction in overall traffic speeds. We have seen more people walking and cycling. We have seen the evolution of what are called more home zones, i.e. where the local environment is much more amenable to people walking, cycling, playing, socialising in the streets outside where they live, rather than that street being dominated by fast-moving traffic. Uh, we also see it uh, reduce the overall level of air pollutants as a result of um, traffic movements and it is one tool that a local authority can adopt that would enable more people to feel more confident about walking and cycling in their local environment. It would also stop what is known as uh, community severance. Very often when people live on major roads and busy roads they, they don't socialise as much with their neighbours and in certain cases they actually retreat to the back of the house because of the problems associated with motor traffic. There's three major um, negative elements to, to um, our over-dependence on the motor car in a city like Birmingham. Um, one would be air pollution, uh, another would be uh, its consequence on climate change and then finally would be the issues of congestion and community severance. In order to control these ill effects of motor transport, Push Bikes organises friendly cycling rides into the countryside. They meet up every Sunday at the Northfield train station. I cycle, uh, I work six days a week, so I have like a commute out to work and then a commute back every day, so it'll be like 12 journeys in a week. Uh, I like to get out on my cycle three or four times a week just to keep my legs in trim, more in the summer, less in the winter. My role with push bikes, I'm, I'm actually the rides coordinator, so I, I'm the one that organises all of the leisure rides, the uh, ones that happen on a, on a Sunday. Um, in the winter time, sort of once a month, and in the summer time, they're down to like every two weeks. Um, and we also do rides on a Wednesday night as well. In fact, I've had a group of people they run them all over the winter every Wednesday, even on cold sort of uh, cold nights as well. Brian Watkiss, another member of Push Bikes, is a keen cyclist who never misses the opportunity to be present on these Sunday cycling rides. I used to be a, a cyclist, a commuting cyclist. I, it was my favourite method of getting to work. It was guaranteed um, same time every day um, compared to car journeys, which very variable and can be very frustrating. So I enjoyed cycling to work um, and now it's just um, uh, cycling for um, pleasure. Um, I think it's a, it's, um, I think, um, I think lots of things. Um, I think cycling is now being taken more seriously uh, as a, a means of transport um, with the roads being so crowded, the cost of fuel uh, increasing all the time and people just being more environmentally aware uh, and let's face it, it, it's fairly environmentally friendly to cycle uh, compared to burning fossil fuels. I've travelled to work quite often and seen cars like nose to tail and just crawling through the city 
Whereas when I cycle on the cycle route, I go down the River Ray cycle route just down the road from here, uh, follow the canal and long paths, I have a completely uh, uh, trouble-free journey to work. I can set out at a certain time. I know I'm going to get to my destination at a particular time and I'm in the fresh air, away from all of the cars, pumping all their um, carbon monoxide out, etc, etc. More and more people are giving up their cars and are trying to discover the pleasures of walking and cycling. I can remember when, as children, we were much more encouraged to go out and play in the streets outside where we lived and also I think we, we, we probably were able to go a little bit further afield than people do, do, do this do these days, which I think is a great shame because I think certain um, of the developments that we've seen over the last few years have actually stolen some of that freedom of, of, of young people today. And I think it's a great, it was a great way of exploring my local area and also becoming confident on how to use a bicycle and also enabled me to go a little bit further afield and it meant I had more friends because I could socialise with more people down the park and uh, in, in, and in the countryside around where I grew up. I think as the cost of commuting increases more and more people are certainly considering cycling however it's quite a big move to However, it's quite a big move to commit yourself to cycling on a daily basis uh, and it's not for everyone. Um, it does also increase your level of fitness so perhaps instead of driving to the gym you could just cycle there and then cycle home again and save the cost of the gym membership. Um, certainly facilities for cyclists are improving around Birmingham. They're not perfect, they probably never will be, but uh, one of the reasons Push Bike exists is to try and improve facilities so hopefully that will be another way of persuading people to, to get out of their cars and onto their bikes. Um, and let's face it, on a, a nice day like today, what's better than a nice gentle cycle through the, the country lanes?